Hey, welcome back to the first podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope you're having a good week. And uh, we're getting ready for Sunday here, and Sunday's going to be a busy day. And uh, and so we've got some cool stuff going on Sunday. And so one of which is Experiencing God is wrapped up, the, the Bible study. And so Sunday is going to be our celebration service, Sunday morning. And just you're going to hear testimonies. You're going to hear uh, just some cool stuff about how God's been working on people's hearts and lives. And and uh, and then there's some something else happening Sunday night. So why don't you? Well, Sunday night, but we'll bring it in Sunday morning too. We'll have uh, Brother Sam's retirement. Yeah. Um, we'll probably present him with something and uh, just love on him. Let him speak for a few minutes. He'll he'll speak that morning. Uh, kind of share with everybody, um, you know, kind of his swan song. Yeah. And uh, what's going to happen maybe in next phase, that kind of stuff. And then that evening, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll break bread together. Yeah. But thank God, not on our knees. We'll <laughs> we'll be uh, yeah. we'll have some finger foods. So if you guys can bring some uh, finger foods, that'd be great. Maybe like they, some fruit trays. Yeah, there will be some sandwiches cheese. and stuff like that. And there will be a cake providing everything. But that's really about it. So anything else on the side that you can bring. I think we like some awesome. desserts too. Don't yeah, we? Any, some more desserts. There's I mean, there's not, not going to be enough don't. cake for everybody. So, <laughs> as you can tell, I've been losing weight. And, uh, oh, yeah? Go well, ahead. I, I do when I suck in. I thought you were like sucking in. I, yeah. I, I didn't know any and, other way. <laughs> so, so we, yeah, we could use more desserts and more uh, snackage stuff and fruit trays, vegetables. Well, maybe not vegetables. But, well, some people uh, like vegetables. Yeah, some people do, yeah. I think and, one time uh, you prayed broccoli to taste like che- Cheetos, yeah. So. I'm, I'm, I'm all right with it. And uh, But just anything you can bring for that night. And we're just going to help celebrate uh, his ministry here, him That's and Miss Lisa, and, and all that they've meant to, to us in this church. And so uh, just come love on them. We're going to have a place where you can give a card or... Uh, whatever uh, that ten thousand dollar check, whatever you wow, want to do, nice. and we're gonna have a place for that that you can just love on them with a card or uh, and 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 or I didn't pass a lot of English classes. Hey, let me help you there, English. Yeah. Um, so you remember how I said from the pulpit, and I've said a couple times we're gonna do an old fashioned pounding, right? Well, I found out through the sewing ladies on Tuesday they don't eat sugar and they don't eat flour. So if you're going to pound them, don't pound them with those two things. With those two things. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought I'd let so the th- folks know This that. is going to be like a, a – right, it's old-fashioned pounding and really just how, how we can love on them and, and give them some stuff. And and uh, so what might be better is gift cards or, or checks or something, gift cash or whatever. always nice. Uh, so they can get what they need uh, or Walmart, anything without sugar and flour. Yeah. Best Buy. Right. You know, I mean, they moved into things. a house, and they've, they're having to furnish some stuff. And right. so – uh, anything can help them. Any little mm-hmm. bit can help them. And so we yeah. just want to love on them Absolutely. and thank them for the years of service. We've all seen uh, and probably been a part of uh, churches where they've been there for years and years and they just got a little thank you plaque and, and was gone. Kind of and, right off in the sunset. Yeah, and, and we don't want to do that. We want to make sure we show them we love them. And, and, uh, and so uh, we're just thankful for all that Brother Sam's done and Miss Lisa as well. And, um, and we just want to love hey, them. Here's so. one thing I do know. This is a given church. Yeah, they, oh, they're, yeah, they're sweet they on take the care people. Of, they take care of us. Absolutely. And they do some great things. So I will definitely beat that drum. Absolutely. They are great <laughs> givers. So they are. I appreciate that. Uh, there is also, so I'm trying to look here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, next Sunday, so back-to-back Sundays that are going to be busy. Next Sunday is Senior Adult Sunday, Senior Adult Recognition Sunday. Dr. And uh, former pastor, Dr. James Hill, is going to be here to preach that Sunday. Amen. And uh, so he's going to preach the service, and then right after the service, senior adults, you have a luncheon with him as well, and just to kind of be around him again and and, uh, and just love on him some more. And then uh, then that night, there's another uh, just kind of little get together with just some snack foods and stuff like that. And uh, but just just to give you some more time to be around, kind of come and brother, go. If you didn't get Hill, to yeah. him that morning, you can get yeah. to him that afternoon, and just to kind of be around him for a little bit and get to see him again. And and so he's going to be here all day. And uh, and it's just going to be a, a good service. But also, again, back to back Sundays have been they're going to be busy. Uh, next Sunday afternoon at four thirty, we have Sunday school leadership training mm-hmm. for adult leadership through kids leaderships. They're going to be in different areas. I believe the adults are meeting here in the choir room, right? Am, mm-hmm. am I correct on that? And then the kids uh, leadership, they're going to be meet in the kids area. Youth are going to be in the youth room. And this is just a it's. Just a good training day, and well, let we me have help. special guest. Yeah, yeah special guest, Dr. Keith Manuel. You can't yeah. beat Keith Manuel yeah. on on this area. He'll uh, he'll challenge us, challenge us, change yeah. us, 
shape us. He's from, us. if they don't so, know, we've known him for a very long time. I know him from the Louisiana yeah. Baptist. Right. Uh, I grew up with his sons, and I, right. you know, I've known him for a long time as well. But he's uh, a former pastor, mm-hmm. uh, but he now works at Louisiana Baptist Convention. That's right. And uh, he's in churches every Sunday preaching. And hey, he came like here that, once so. in case our folks might have forgot. Early on in my ministry, really? when we were up here, he came and, and did a faith um, enlistment Sunday. Oh, he yeah, came okay. up yeah, yeah. and... Uh, and talk oh, I think about faith before I got here, yeah, but yeah, for you, I, I've been around him quite a bit and heard him preach. He does a oh, great job, awesome. articulates very oh, well. Goodness. So he'll he'll challenge all of our adults, um, and then probably all uh, teachers from, like you said, from the womb to the tomb, yeah. Yeah. and then we'll have our breakouts uh, after, and then he'll stay in here with the adult uh, Sunday school teachers. Miss Tracy will be with our preschool children. Yeah. Uh, Joshua will be with our our youth uh, teams yeah. and all that, so it's going to be a good time, good training. It is. It's going. It's going to be a good afternoon. And I would say this: even if you're not uh, a teacher, but you want to grow in that area, and or if you're a teacher in training, That's or if you're just say. a leader in the class, we need all leadership and uh, all yeah. leadership in the class. And even if you're someone uh, like my class is new, so we just don't have that set all set up yet. And if you're someone who is uh, been praying about it. God's been leading you to be a uh, more of a leader. This is a great opportunity for you as well, and we can always use more teachers. That is not, that's an area we can always use help in. So whether that's kids to adults, uh, any anybody that's already a leader or wanting to be a leader, we want you to come, and uh, you're going to learn a lot. It, it's going to be very uh, helpful, and it's not going to be boring information. It's going to be very practical, hands-on type stuff, and so. We well, we need to, to see, that. like, with, with our care groups, we, we um, just people need to understand and know the importance of a care group. Yeah. When you're sick, um, it's hard for us to, A, know about it unless you tell us, B, to minister to you from afar like that, where that's what the local uh, Sunday school class is about. It's right. ministering to your groups, to your individual people. So that's the prime place to start a meal train. To, right. to that's do, where it needs to start. That's where yeah. it needs to start. That's why you need care group leaders. You need right. those folks in place. So when you you know are out and, and somebody says, well, man, nobody ministered to me. Well, first I'm going to ask you, are you in a Sunday school class? Yeah. Next, if you say yes, I'm going to ask you who your teacher is. Because <laughs> if I hear that you know we're not getting ministered to in the class, then I'm going to talk to Brother Andrew, and then we're going to talk to the teacher. And, yeah. You know, because that's what it's all about. I mean, we, I preach it, I beat that one hard that right. uh, that's how it should happen. I well, mean, the pastor we grew up under, uh, uh, well, you as an adult and me as a child, uh, the, the, he would preach all the time, if there's one thing you come to, come to Sunday school. Mm-hmm. Like if for some reason that Sunday you can't come to one thing, mm-hmm. go to Sunday school. Because that's where that fellowship is built and that family aspect of it is built. And that, your care group, that's where, you know, if... if you need crying with they'll cry with you if you if if it's joyful they'll be joyful with all those things that's where it's built uh just so some of our people don't get confused and think they're only supposed to come to sunday school and that's not what you said no no but i'm gonna gonna clear that up i made sure i didn't say that (laughs) because i know philip and i know you and i know me there's a pastor would say do not hear what i didn't say (laughs) you know what i'm saying (laughs) because i know we have some folks that do that from time to time and and what he was saying and what you're saying is if you had to choose on a Sunday, yeah. which which you know if you had to be out of right. something happened, he would say go to Sunday school. Yeah. But but don't make that a habit. Right. Um, you need we, to be a part of both. You need to be a part of both. That's yeah. right. But mm-hmm. that those Sunday school small groups are oh, great family. Mm-hmm. That's where you build that family, mm-hmm. and so That's you right. need it. So the month of May doesn't get any any quieter. It, it kind of ramps up a little bit. There's a lot of stuff we're getting ready for. VBS is going to be here before you know it. And you can already sign up for that if you want to be a helper, if you want to be a volunteer, or if you are registering a child, you can do both of that. Uh, I know they've already got a sign-up sheet in the foyer. You can also do it through our Church Center app as well. And, uh, again, if you want to be a volunteer, you can sign up that way as well. And so uh, they're already ramping up. They're going to be starting uh, – making all the decorations, all that kind of stuff, and training and getting ready for that. Let's tell our folks about the graduate thing, too, because I think this is something that we hadn't done in a while. So that next Sunday, uh, our graduates, which we have four of them, will uh, set up some round tables in in the well, 
and you can come by and uh, put a little note, a card on their table, just encouraging them. This is going to be on Mother's Day. This is May 14th on Mother's on, Day. On Mother's Day That's well. right. So just go by, and if you feel led to give them a little gift, uh, yeah. hand them, put them a gift on their table, something like that. Um, but, but they'll be identified, each one, uh, what's going on, how it works. And so yeah. we've uh, got we four, love on those seniors. four graduating seniors. Mm -hmm. And so you can go love on them and, and uh, help them as they're going to the next, next phase yeah, of life. Right. I mean, this is, it's a big deal. So, mm -hmm. um, but uh, this coming, when, so Wednesdays in May are going to look just a little different uh, because there's so much going on. And so this coming, uh, not this Wednesday, but the next uh, is going to be our Awana Awards Night, and um, that's going to be in the sanctuary, so there's not going to be any choir practice that night, uh, and we're going to be focusing on the, on the kids, and there's going to be a parent reception at the end of that, of that as well, and that'll start at 6, I believe, in the sanctuary, and then the Wednesday after that is high school graduation, and because of that, we have a lot of the workers that are in our kids' area that have seniors, and so uh, we are not having any activities that night. Uh, due to child care and things of that nature. And so uh, there's no choir practice, there's uh, no Bible study. Right? Hey, or are you still doing Bible hey, study that hey, hey, I'm going to tell you a secret. You yeah. want a secret? Yeah. All right, so nobody knows this, okay? Okay. So this is a top secret. Y'all don't tell anybody. Secret. This is just me and you talking. Okay. So to my knowledge, um, to my knowledge, First Blanchard's never done a baccalaureate service for seniors. Mm hmm um there's not one that's currently out there and no, uh, what is that because so I this is a is. this is a service where you as a church or an area where you can kind of give a charge to those seniors okay, and stuff right. like that yes. um we'll probably let the valedictory and the salutatorian come up and share some some things that's going on what where they're going to go what they're doing yeah. challenge their uh, classmates and then i will come up and give a a charge uh, to those seniors and yeah. uh, you know for for the workforce for uh, going to the next level college you know doing something in their right. life so I'll challenge them um, looks like 200 plus seniors uh, oh, will wow. be in in the service along with their parents and all that yeah. where's so that when, when be, is that I'm sorry well it's we're working on next year next year oh, but cool. the goal that yeah, I yeah. kind of put in place to say um, it's a must will be 2025, but I think 2024, it oh, may that's work. Awesome. That's a secret. Don't yeah. tell anybody. Yeah. We're working yeah, really quiet. hard on that. Yeah. See, I know people don't know that we do things a year out in advance and right. some things take two years out in advance, yeah. but uh, we've talked to somebody, I can't say who, cause I don't want to get them in trouble, but we've <laughs> talked to them and to their knowledge, <coughs> I used my pronouns there, their knowledge that, uh, <laughs> it's a whole nother rabbit trail. That's a whole <laughs> nother rabbit trail. But to their knowledge, it's never been done. Yeah. Um, at least in the last few years. So well, I mean, somebody might was, say, "Hey, back yeah. in 1970, we did such and such." Yeah. Or 1980, or I'm just saying, in a, in a period that I know, right. um, I didn't, it's not I didn't been know done. Anything about it. So y'all be quiet. All right. Y'all don't tell anybody. It's just that's a secret between but, just but us. Be praying and me. about it. How yeah. about that? Y'all be praying yeah. about it because that's something we're working really hard on. That could potentially be over 600 people in our sanctuary. Yeah. And, on a Sunday and this is night. not. Uh, this this is all part of us just trying to love on the schools and mm -hmm. in our community. Be, yeah, being in the community. Well, that's what so, I said I was going to do when I got here. Yeah, and so uh, well, that's what just they, things and take again, time. Some people don't realize it. We do that every week. Mm -hmm. We're uh, you and Andrew especially and Josh are in the schools every week. That's You're right. doing something in the school every week, and so this is just another part of loving on them. So that's right. That's right. Uh, so here's what we're asking. Over the next couple of weeks, there's going to be Wednesdays are going to look very different just because of Praying big events on. going on. <laughs> Um, and so y'all just be patient with us as we are going through these things and, um, and just take this time to love on the, uh, love on the kids, love on the students graduating and, uh, and all the, especially that Awana night last year, we had a ton of people to come. We didn't expect that many people. Right. And so, uh, the parents that will come to that night, um, if you don't know, a lot of our parents don't come here. They, they bring their kids to Awana. Uh, and we're really trying to focus on loving those parents as well and, and getting them to come be a part. And so this is a great opportunity for that as well. And so y'all just be patient with us and, and pray with us and help us out loving all these kids and, and uh, teenagers as well through these next couple of weeks. And uh, so, again, that'll start not this Wednesday, but the next Wednesday, uh, the second Wednesday in May. Uh, some of that will take place. So. A lot going on. It's a, it's it's a lot going on. What can on. we do so, if we were not? <coughs> um, 
excuse me, kind of sitting here with a calendar in our hand. How could we, what's a way that we can figure all this stuff out or see all these things? I'm giving a plug to our yeah. church out, by the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I I, that's what I was thinking. So uh, there's multiple ways that we have our, our calendar out. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of them. There's multiple ways. Uh, number one is through our website, fbcblanchard.com. If you go on there, you hit calendar, and it shows you everything. Uh, the easiest way, though, the easiest way is our Church Center app. So if you go into your app store on your phone, Android, iPhone, whatever, go into the app store, type in Church Center, it'll pull it up, and you just take off from there. It'll it'll help you find our church. You just put in you know your location, and it tells you what churches around have it. Church our, Center or Church, church Center? Yes, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and so I'm sorry, man. I know. It will bless your heart. Up. And, uh, and I, I'm trying to, when I talk to people, I try not to sound as redneck. And it also doesn't always work. And, uh, but if you get the Church Center app and, uh, and get all that going through there, uh, it, when you pull it up, it has everything that is on our calendar till the end of time. So uh, you can see all the events that are on there, and uh, it just gives you all the information you need. Uh, anytime you need to register for an event, like if you want to register for VBS or register your child or whatever, you can do that through that app. Uh, something that I've we've been working on is there's a uh, uh, let me pull it up so I don't forget. Uh, it's a directories. It couldn't see my face because of the mic, but that we have a directory now in the app, and so a lot of you today probably got an email uh, or yesterday and uh, inviting you to be a part of that directory. So do that, and there's a built-in directory to the app as well. You can do a lot of things through this app. Any groups that you're part of, any Sunday school you're a part of, uh, you can see that group in there as well. Uh, if you want to tie through there, uh, that's how Jordan and I do it. And uh, we have a lot of people tithing through the app, and it's really easy to do that. I love uh, my picture on there. Yeah, well, I saw that today, and we might need to work on it. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Christy's not probably happy that she's yeah that there. big deer that, that right. yeah yeah and uh, but you know uh, that's what I do. Next week we're gonna have her on the podcast and she's yeah. gonna answer some in depth questions. Oh, okay. And uh, and see so you can get the perspective of pastor's wife. Oh, you know goodness. and uh, please don't so. bring her on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to now. And uh, but uh, so all the, there's a ton of stuff on that app. It's very informative for you. And has everything on it that you'll need, and so I really hope you'll get that and uh, and be a part of it. Uh, with the the giving side of things, there's a lot of people that it just pulls it out. And they've got it set up where uh, every week, every two weeks, once a month, whatever it is, it just automatically takes it out, so you don't have to worry about it. And um, so whatever you want to do, that, that's perfectly fine. But please get the app. I can't stress that enough because it has all the information on it. So uh, so please get that um, and be informed we don't ever want you to not know something's coming and so we try our best to give you a ton of information i had two i was talking to two ladies one day uh about it and they one lady said i, I y'all just bombard me with information i said well that's the point we want you to know we, we don't ever want you to not have the information we so try to get it all out usually there. emails are being sent sometimes text messages the app always has it website has it uh, facebook has stuff here and there uh, the bulletin always has stuff. Lifeline always has stuff. Uh, there's always screen uh, slides that have information. So we never want you to not know something's going on. We always want you to be a part. And so if we can ever help you with that, please let us know. Um, feel free to, if you need help getting the app, feel free to call me and, and we'll get you all set up. So Hey, so I grew up in the 80s and I'm over here sitting here itching saying, May the fourth be with you. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's not. It's not. That was the yet. original, man. I, I know. That was the original Star Wars. We're, we're still a week away. I know. I know. <laughs> but I, I don't know if I'll get it on there. I always wanted to say that. Oh good. Hey, but you know what happens on May the fourth? For real, seriously, it's the National Day of Prayer. Oh yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Um. In in the in the years of coming, <coughs> I'm working on trying to do a a, a prayer service yeah, here. That's something we've. Uh, we've been church that we grew up at. Yeah. We had those pretty regular, and so that's mm-hmm. something we we've been used to. They're hard to pull off. Enjoy doing it. Yeah, you know, it's um, it's the most important thing we can do yeah. as people, but it seems like the hardest thing we can corporately come together right. and do, or even individually. Yeah, you know, I was um, this is chasing a rabbit real quick, <laughs> but I was listening to a, a sermon this morning. He was saying, uh, the preacher, I think it was, um, I don't even remember who it was. 
Um, but he was saying only 9% of professing Christians mm. read their Bible daily. Goodness. 9%. And it's never been easier. Isn't that That's something? the crazy thing. I know. We talked about it in our the Experiencing God or group, the, or the app. It's never been easier. It's never been easier. And he said more. if the Christians ever blew on their Bible, it would cause the biggest dust storm in the world. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people's asthma attacks would asthma kick, attack in. kick yeah. in. Yeah, goodness. Well, man, we've told enough jokes, told enough information. You want to tell them a prayer and let's get yeah. out of here? Yeah. Again, thank you for joining us today. And uh, we're so excited for the things coming. It's just going to be, we're excited to see what the Lord does. And we we're, we're, can't wait to see what all takes place. And uh, again, if you ever need any more information, please check out the website or get the Church Center app. And it has everything on there that you could possibly want. So it's all it's all there. But let's pray and then we'll, we'll go. Father, we do thank you for this time. Uh, we thank you for all that you're doing in the life of our church. And we pray that you will just uh, continue to, to work on us. You'll continue to mold us into the the church that you want us to be. Help us to be a lighthouse in this community. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.